Hey, hey and uh, welcome to some more Timberborn. And uh, yeah, I guess we are about to experience another drought. And uh, yeah, also, since we played the last, there have been some changes. So apparently now we need haulers in order to deliver logs to the engine instead of a worker. So I guess we should probably see about uh, addressing that. So yeah, let's do something like that and uh, yeah, I guess we'll start with one worker for now. And yeah, what I would like to do during this episode or at least start to do is uh, to see if we actually can irrigate this area so we can yeah plant some stuff here that's uh, yeah don't know if we actually will be able to do that during this episode but uh, we will definitely try and yeah at least start on that process and yeah also do need to move these two water pumps really don't like the placements of those two i guess we can yeah take care of that straight away so yeah let's get rid of those two and let's see we do need some platforms over here there we are and uh, yeah we will put them back in like that and of course we will move the road closer and yeah when that's built we will yeah remove this ugly pieces of wood outside of our dam really don't want those to be there so there we are and that's taken care of i guess we should probably speed up i think we should be yeah as ready as we will be for the drought oh look at that that's new and uh, yeah really nice kind of hard to when you are doing stuff around the map it's easy to forget that uh, yeah the different periods are coming oh and look at that we have a campfire of some sorts on our rooftop terrace as well nice so yeah that's good and yeah if we do want to take or start to deal with uh, whatever we are going to do over here i guess uh, we should start with uh, yeah moving the path or the road through here a little bit i think uh, we will do something like that instead and uh, of course we do need to remove that and have some other stairs there and uh, yeah when we get to over here i think that yeah let's do something like that and we will yeah let's just do it straight away no reason to wait I guess we will do something like that instead and of course the new road will be going like that and uh, yeah I guess that's okay so something like that so when we have managed to build or build the new stairs we will, will of course remove yeah the road we don't need and also do need to yeah do something up here as well i guess uh, yeah how should we do this at least we will do like that and we will remove that i think yeah do we would be really nice if we could have uh, gathered all of this uh, scrap metal but uh, yeah unfortunately we haven't done that so <laughs> that's just how 
it will be for now so we do have to consider that sort of at least so let's see if we can do yeah I guess we will do something like that actually what we could do to get some more options don't we have uh, storage for scrap metal? I guess not. But yeah, let's build that and see if we can actually gather some of that stuff. So we can, yeah, get that road where we actually want it. That's probably the best alternative. So yeah, let's do that. There we go. And uh, yeah, I guess we will come back to to this area when we have uh, yeah got that done. So the next thing we do need to do, or at least we should do, I think, would like to uh, unlock more of these uh, dynamites would prefer the triple dynamite actually even though it's uh, quite expensive and also if we are unlocking that we also will be needing this the centrifuge so we can make uh, extract and that's uh, a little bit expensive too but yeah i guess we will start with that i was thinking that we should yeah, or we could at least place it over there and connect uh, the power back here so yeah I guess we will do that at least for now and yeah let's uh, prioritize that so we get that built oh and look at this we do have uh, I've gotten this finished so yeah, let's pause that again. And I guess we will be removing some more stuff. I guess, yeah. Do you need the last one over there actually? But yeah, at least it's looking a lot better, I think. So let's see, yeah, we have completed that. So let's put in the centrifuge as well like that and of course we do need some road as well there we go so far so good do you need to get that built and uh, yeah do you need some more science as well at least if we oh actually we don't we do have enough so yeah I guess we are unlocking triple dynamite as well for some reason I thought it cost 1800 but uh, yeah it didn't so <laughs> so we are good so yeah so far so good and uh, yeah looks like we have actually got these stairs built as well so yeah let's uh, try to clean up a little bit around here guess uh, yeah we should probably just destroy these stairs there we go and yeah I guess we don't need that anymore either and we will remove some road as well there we go and there we go and yeah don't exactly know how we will do or where we'll place the road up here but uh, yeah we'll figure that out as well at some point we are moving along and uh, yeah we are lacking a little bit of power over here so I was thinking maybe we should see about uh, building another one of these engines and uh, yeah I 
think that uh, we will do so over here. So in order to connect the power, I guess we do need to remove those two. And uh, yeah, we don't have uh, any extract yet. So, and yeah, we haven't unlocked the double dynamite either. So I guess we are have to do this with uh, the normal dynamite. And of course, we could probably need some road over there as well. There we go. And hopefully, yeah, let's prioritize this. I don't think we are, yeah, we are building the centrifuge. We are waiting for metal blocks actually. So, don't think we are building anything else than that. So this should be relatively easy, I guess, to take, to get taken care of. Yeah, I guess they went to bed, but that's okay. So yeah, we will dynamite this down to the same level as here. And when that's done, we will put in another engine over there and we will connect it up to this when we get that far. Well, there we go. Kaboom. And yeah. Put in a couple more. And yeah, when that's taken care of, all we need to do is, uh, yeah, connect the power and of course get the engine built. And we are kind of slowly making metal blocks. So, it will probably take a little bit of time before we get that done, but yeah, at least we have started the process. So there we go. We are kind of having a little bit of uh, a rough time. Apparently, the, yeah, places or yeah, what should we call them, canals we made during the last episode didn't hold enough water so yeah there we go we are getting water again at least but yeah food production have halted and uh, our mangroves have died so yeah that's uh, <laughs> not how we want to have it so let's see if we can yeah store a little bit more water I guess over here, I guess we do need to do the same over here as well. Yeah, let's do that, I think. What are we storing? Yeah, oh yeah, that's okay. And of course, let's do that. And now that we actually have bad water again, I guess we should start up that and uh, that as well. And hopefully we should be able to, yeah, make room for some more water over here. And yeah, I have started to dynamite the bottom of our water storage as well. So we can, yeah, store a little bit extra water. So yeah, we will be working on that as well in the background. So yeah, let's do that and uh, yeah, hopefully we should be able to, yeah, should probably prioritize them. That will help, maybe. Same with this one. Because, yeah, I guess we should have a closer look as well. The idea is that uh, we are trying to store water here so we can continue food production during, yeah, the droughts. But apparently one tile of uh, water, it's, uh, yeah, I guess that's not enough. So I guess we will try with some more. We should be ready to detonate some dynamite. So let's, uh, yeah, let's do that. There we 
we go. Obviously, we do need to, yeah, get in another stair over there and place down some more dynamite. And we will detonate those and those. So at least, oh yeah, I guess we should probably tear out the uh, this as well, so we can get, uh, yeah, these things taken care of as well. Yeah, and let's see, probably have to, yeah, do some stuff in order to be able to place all of this dynamite, but uh, yeah, we will, yeah, take care of that when we, <laughs> when we get to that. So there are something weird going on here. We are on our way into a new drought. And uh, yeah, if we can see over here, we still have some water left. But for some reason, the water we are storing under our path here are, yeah. You can see the problem. We don't really have or almost any water left there. So I, for some reason, this water evaporates a lot faster than <laughs> the water we have over here. And uh, yeah, that's uh, definitely a problem. Problem. So yeah, I'm not going to pretend that I'm <laughs> understanding what's happening here, but uh, yeah don't really know how to deal with that but yeah I guess we will see how it will go there are definitely something weird going on apparently this water cannot be used for yeah growing trees or grow food for some reason <laughs> I did remove the dam over here in order to uh, yeah try to address the problem we had but uh, apparently that didn't work we are all out of uh, of food we do have some berries though so I guess we will survive on that as long as we can and uh, yeah we still have a decent amount I would say of water so yeah that should not be a problem and yeah have started or yeah barely started on our project over here but uh, yeah kind of hard to get extract during a drought at least when we don't have yeah a stable supply of bad water so maybe we should uh, look into that even though i do think that uh, yeah our settlement days are probably numbered since uh, yeah we aren't producing any food but uh, i guess you should never give up so yeah let's see if we at least can address one of our <laughs> many problems I guess so I guess we could build some kind of uh, dam down here and or we could build a tank to store bad water I guess uh, we could probably do both so yeah let's do that maybe something like that and I uh, guess we could place some kind of uh, tank over there as well. I guess we can unlock the medium tank as well. And uh, yeah, why can't I? There we go. So yeah, let's place that over there and we will 
store there we go bad water over there and I guess we could build a tank up here as well for extract yeah probably yeah that should be good okay there we go so at least now that's taken care of and yeah let's see apart from our food situation luckily we do have a lot of berries up here so we might actually be able to survive but uh, yeah we definitely have to do something about this and don't know if it's the last changes that have been made or if it's this map actually but I definitely have done this before on another map and yeah it worked out just fine so yeah oh and we don't have any more water over here either so yeah I guess we will maybe eventually figure it out <laughs> It's uh, not looking good. Our last uh, or the last of our water has uh, dried up and uh, yeah we are all out of food. Not even a single berry are left and we have 1.7 days until we are getting some more fresh water. So yeah we will probably survive until yeah the water gets here but uh, yeah we still need to grow some food when the water gets here and uh, yeah that might not <laughs> work out in our favor but i guess we will see a new season is here and yeah we just run out of water actually so that's uh, yeah let's do that as well that should probably help so yeah i guess if we are extremely lucky we might get uh, some berries before we can actually grow our own food but uh, yeah maybe not <laughs> yeah i guess we will see and also we do need to fill up uh, parts of our dam over here before we get uh, yeah water down into our lake so yeah but shouldn't take too long yeah there we go and with that done let's uh, increase the work hours so we at least plant yeah didn't make that actually so yeah never mind that <laughs> So yeah, at least we are planting some new food, but uh, yeah, oh, we do have some berries, yeah, I won't believe it before I see it, but yeah, maybe, just maybe, we will be able to pull through, at least we are making extract now, and pumping up some bad water as well. So hopefully at some point, if we can stay along, stay alive that long, we will be starting to put down some triple dynamite as well up here. And yeah, I guess, yeah, I have already prioritized it. So I guess that's, yeah, good. But what's not good is that, uh, yeah, a lot of our beavers are dying of or from hunger. So yeah, we are down to 12 beavers now, 12 adult beavers. Oh, and uh, <laughs> yeah, that was fast. A new drought are approaching. Yeah, I'm afraid to say, but I do think that this is uh, the end for our settlement. Do you have two beavers alive? adult that is four with the kids and uh, yeah I guess we are 
having to stay alive on berries if uh, if we could be so lucky but yeah I guess we will have to see but yeah even though the settlement or if the settlement would be so lucky and stay alive they should probably relocate <laughs> to a better place but uh, yeah oh there we go we have uh, only a couple of or one kid left yeah let's see yeah there the last one died as well so yeah I'm sad to say but uh, looks like this is the end for this settlement but yeah anyway thank you so much for watching and as always a big special thank you to all the people that like subscribe and comment to my videos I really do appreciate it so thank you so much so with that I guess we are ending the episode as always I'm JT take care and Bye-bye!